All right, guys, welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays. And today we got double chance, man. We got double chance for Void Shard. So I'm going to open up for open up for three of my subs and for myself as well. I don't have too many Void Shards, but we're, <laughs> we're going to open them up. So this is, I'm going to say this right from the front, from the get go. Uh, this is the best chance to summon. So if you're saving your Void Shards, is the best chance. Double chance are way better than 10 times events as uh, they don't double the race for 10 times events. So yeah, guys, let's get started. All right, so the first account we're going to be doing is Electro Hex's account. Um, I've summoned for him twice in the past. He's already got Venus and Hegemon, so uh, and Turvold. So he's got some pretty good luck. Also Arbiter and uh, Torment the Cold, but these two are not from summons. Oh, he's already got Madame Ceres, like two of them. <laughs> this is going to be hard uh, meeting his expectations. Even the Cold Hearts, he's already got two Cold Hearts. Uh, Umbral Enchantress and everything. Is he going for this guy? Yeah, if he wants to, you can probably get Grip Tuck, but uh, I don't know. Grip Tuck sucks. Hey, thanks, man. You made exact amount of space that we need. Appreciate it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Two times chance. Voice shards is very hard to do. Yeah, at least a hundred to be like, even if the hundred is not even guaranteed. But you know what I mean. Like voice shards are hard to get. I really think that they need to make a sacred voice shard. John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> okay, we got Bellower. Come on, man. We got to get something good. Centurion again. <laughs> yeah, I was like, is Bellinor coming or what? That's what I feel like it is. <laughs> I don't know if he's even going to be happy if Bellinor's coming. We got three Harriers. He's, we got the meme. Okay, Cold Heart. We got Cold Heart. He already has like two, I think, or more. Interceptor. I hate voice shards, man. Again, Retainer. Okay, we got down to the last ten. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Horus fix. Chevalier. Huntress. Bellor. Okay, so we're allowed for the last five. We gotta we gotta let lightning strike. That's a new I knew it was a dwarf. Uh Gala Longbreeze. I don't think he has her. I haven't checked, but we can find out later. Arbalester. Cold heart. So yeah, she has good luck with Cold Heart, man. Dwarf. 
Payne Smith. Okay, last one. Man, we gotta pull him a legendary. Come on, come on. Okay, we got an epic. We couldn't get a legendary. Oh, we got a man eater for him. Man eater is actually a pretty good pull. But unfortunately, sorry, Electro Hex, man. I couldn't pull you the legendary. Do you even have man eater? Let's find out. You probably know, obviously, because it's your account. <laughs> yeah, that's the man eater I pulled. Yeah, he already has Man Eater. So now you got a double Man Eater. If you want to run an unkillable team, uh, you can do that for Ultra Nightmare. So yeah, fortunately, Electro Hex. Sorry, man, I couldn't pull you a legendary. All right, so next up we have Dog of War two six six nine, aka Dog of War sixty nine. So, <laughs> so Dog of War is looking for uh, basically any champions that other people are looking for for the Voishar, Siffy, uh, Raglan, Hegemon, Tormund, Warlord. Um, Coroner, Venus, and of course, Madame Sayers. So, yeah, let's see what we can get him, man. We've actually done some pretty good polls uh, with Dog of War before. Let's get him some good champions. So he's done, made me some space, so I really appreciate that. 26 Void Shards here. So yeah, man, let's get the Lightning Strike. Okay, we got Epic right off the bat, and we get Paidma. Another epic, back to back, we got uh, Battle Sage. And we got Horror Specs. The rares are coming now, man. <laughs> Marcus. Dude, this guy, man. Got him cold heart. I don't know how many cold hearts he actually has in his account. Epic. Whisper. I'm pretty sure he has her. She was Amazon Prime uh, champion. Bellower. If free. Loading a legendary. No, it's an epic. Cardinal. Dude, I really want to work on my Cardinal. Um, this ability is crazy good. It revives all dead allies and heals them by 25% of the max HP and boosts the term meter to max. So you can build a guy with um, very high attacking stats, no speed, uh, like very glass cannon. And then when they die, she just brings them back to life, full term meter, and they basically guarantee to get a turn. So that's actually crazy. I actually want to test that out. Even though it's a five-turn cooldown, but that's crazy. Marcus. Another epic. We got Exemplar. So well, these are this is like one of the epics where you barely like one of those champions that barely anybody even looks at <laughs> and I mean there's a reason being she's not that good eviscerator kind of looks like retainer all right we're gonna go we're gonna go to the last 10 and still no legendaries pulled which is pretty crazy Paid my again? Give me a Madame Saris, man. Dwarf. Bulwark. Legendary! <laughs> Google the ogre. <laughs> uh, he's actually not that bad. He's got a double hit, plays an extra hit, the target has a freeze debuff, but he doesn't have Tormund. Uh, this guy pairs very well with Tormund. I mean, he does. he is able to freeze people. So he has an 80% chance of placing a freeze debuff on all enemies for one turn, and he grants himself an extra turn. And this is going to be 100% chance if he max it out. So he can freeze, but he pairs very well with Torment. So he plays an extra if the target has a freeze debuff. Um, yeah, he just he's actually pretty good, man. I think he's good in arena. Yeah, he's good in arena. I don't know how happy you're going to be with uh, 
with the Gurgle the Ogre. Madame Saris, nope. Azur. But we still we still got chance, man. We got five five more. This is the fifth one. Alright, so this is the fourth. Reliquary Tender, she's good. Huntress. Eviscerator again, two more. Come on, man, give me something now. Give me something now. Let's do it. Epic. Golden Reaper. I think he already has Golden Reaper. Yeah, he already has Golden Reaper. Anyway, at least I didn't pull you a Whirlum Frost King, man. <laughs> Alright, so I guess summons were pretty successful because pulling a legendary, even the one that, like, especially one that you do not have, um, it is hard to do even on double chance. Alright, so we're back on Moe's account. So Mo, we've actually had some very good luck. But the thing is, though, Mo does not have any void legendaries. So we got to get this guy void legendaries. So that's the plan. He only has 13, so this is going to be a very uh, tall task. But we'll try to get it, man. We'll try to get it. Got Paragon right off the bat. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's do it. Bellower. For me, I always feel like Bellower is always a good pull. Eviscerator has been popping up a lot lately. Veteran. Seducer. I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Oh, the screen was black for a minute, man. <laughs> Amarantine Skeleton. So things are not looking good so far. We didn't even pull an epic yet. Not looking good, man. Well, if we pull all rares and then the last one is in legendary, I would like that. Come on, man. Not even one epic. Stone skin. Okay, first epic. And we pull a uh, light sworn. And we got one more draw. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Rare. Bruh. <laughs> what can you do, man? It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> so sorry, Mo, I couldn't pull you like anything good, man. Light sworn, I guess. Bellower, but. Um, I don't think you need those champions. So, I don't know, man. Boy shards, boy shards are just crazy, man. It's hard to get what you want from boy shards. And I keep saying this over and over again. I think that they need to have a sacred boy shard. And if you get double chance on that, you have 12% chance to pull a legendary. Like, 1% is very low. I mean, we already have sacred shards right here. A sacred shard is a 6% chance. So, if we get a sacred boy shard, it, it would be a 6% chance for champions from the void pool. I think that would be very good to do. And I don't know why Plarium doesn't do it. I'm going to actually tell the diamond again to bring it up with Plarium. And yeah, let's go on to the last account, which is going to be my own personal account. All right, so we are on this weirdo's account. Some guy named Ali plays. Um, he only has six void shards. Like, what's, what's your problem, dude? So we're going to try, <laughs> try to summon some uh, legendaries, man. We only got six. So what are the odds? <laughs> don't expect too much, guys. I have bad luck with uh, void shards, man. Basher, straight to the vault right there. Reliquary Tender, I already got a maxed out one. An epic. Umbral Enchantress, dude, I just, I just fused my Umbral Enchantress for the Gurp Tuck, so that's actually a very good pull for me. And I was actually hoping to get her with the summoning event, but you know how Plarium is, they made the summoning event end right before uh, this double chance started. All right, one more. And the last one is going to be an epic. So not bad, actually. Not bad. We got Battle Sage. I don't think I ever had Battle Sage on this account. Yeah, so she's going to be a new pull right here. And another new pull from Ogren. Oh, that's Gurp oh, Tuck. Weird. Shit. Oh my god. Here we go again. 
Gurp Tuck. Demon Spawn. Yeah, Umbral Enchantress. I've already I already fused her earlier. I actually don't have Paidma. That's weird, man. I don't have Paidma at all. Yeah, so that luck was actually not bad. We pulled three epic champions out of six vote charts. <laughs> so half of them were epic champions. That's good. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys found this video helpful. I mean, I don't know how it's going to be helpful. Helpful for the people that I summoned for, I guess. <laughs> or entertaining. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys like the video. And let me know down in the comment section. What did you guys get with your void shards? You guys get anything good? And if you guys are holding, still holding on to your void shards, make sure you guys use them, man. This is actually the best chance uh, to get good champions, right? So I uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Tyrone. I need everybody to subscribe to the homie Ali Al Plays. And that's non-negotiable.